What's up guys? Bad Medicine is back. That's Diamond Dave. I'm Mason Quinn and here we are. This is The Walking Dead Part 1 Finale. Wow. Season 11, Episode 8, For Blood. And guys, I just want to personally thank each and every one of you, thank you for being down there in the comments, going on this journey with us as we are getting ready to wrap up one of the best shows ever on TV, The Walking Dead. I can't believe we're this close to the end. Guys, I just want to thank you all for the subs thank and you. the comments. We thank love you. the interaction. Let's get to it. Let's go! And that was it. That was the explanation. No reason. Wrong. There is reason for everything. How about you, Dixon? You ever seen Rodas move like that? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that before. <laughs> well, else? Think you can move those rotters? Yes, sir. I can do it. I've done it before. Wells can handle it. <laughs> well, <laughs> Wells gonna get clapped. He ain't making it. Uh, this is interesting. Yeah, he'll be fine. Just lead him away. Start walking. Man, you remember when Shane was in the high school, how fast they moved? I miss those days. Step it up, ugly. It's getting late. I'm getting hungry. Hungry. We hungry. <laughs> Reminds me of Tyrese. <laughs> yep. From Fast and Furious, not Walking yeah. Dead. <laughs> Oh, coming from the backside. When he, he <laughs> didn't think that was a bad idea? You better make oh, it dude, the high ground. You gotta run. Stop being a hero to yourself here, man. Oh! Go! <laughs> Go! Surprise, surprise. Booyah! How do you like that? See ya. <laughs> no, that's What a them. shot. Love it. That it, was a great shot. It, it was. That was great. Good thing to wake me up on a Sunday morning. So essentially the why, and we've been asking it the whole time, is the Reapers took over Meridian, which Maggie and everyone was at, and that's the why. And that's the why. I thought there had to be more than that. Had to be, I thought there was going to be know, more than that, too. Again, but. shout out to Katie in the comments for, for bringing that up, because when I read her comment, I'm like, that makes it perfect sense. It clicked when she brought that up in But in then words. I was like, <clears throat> that's it? That's the reason. That's what you're giving me. I was I was kind of hot about it. Yeah. I was hoping there was more. <laughs> yeah, but, but we still need to figure out what uh, is going on with Elijah too. So there's still more to yeah, this because of the sister thing and Yep, good point. I'll check on the babies. Remember what mom said about storms? They're always followed by clear skies. I wish she was here. Yeah. Okay, keep it close. Is everyone okay? Uh your windmill's on fire. What? I'm going after him. There's no point. No, I've seen him kill dozens of rotters at a time. Oh, they didn't kill him. She did. So you did come back. You thought that woman was out there and you sent Paul in? But was he bait? It was bait. <laughs> <laughs> they are, how much longer are they going to follow Pope? This fight God decided. God didn't send him out there. You did. Anything else you want to <laughs> share? Yeah, you're trash. <laughs> well, this may have been your brother. He was a son to me. We now know the enemy is close. The storm blew down one of the panels in the wall over by the gardens. What's worse, there's a fire and the windmill destroying the walkers in the surrounding areas. We're gonna need three teams. So, volunteers. Thank you. Well then, I'm joining too. Rodders are gone. But she's not. Well, they got rid of all those pretty easy. How long do you travel with her for? Not long at all. What can you tell me about? <laughs> <laughs> not, not much. Why am I keeping you around? Because you know how good I am? You said God chose me. I had this dog on account he was blue tick hound. Starving, half dead. And he'd give me this look. That look. Like he couldn't decide whether to lick my hand and bite it off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I ain't gonna lick you. <laughs> <laughs> like how Daryl didn't even take it serious. Yeah. Like Just whatever. Do it right off. Fair enough. Just don't try to bite me either. Tick it. Hurt like hell. I have him strangle that dog. We kept him here because he's an excellent tracker. I'm sure he noticed something. She's a great shot. She's going to want to see us coming. She's got that bow, so I'd look up. Trees, maybe. Sir, they're back. I think Daryl's trying to get their attention up so that way when they're the walkers, they can do their job. Yeah, they won't notice that, hey, these walkers are slightly different and they're carrying weapons. Mm -hmm. How strong is this guy? Oh, it's strong enough. They won't get that far, though. Oh, they got mines? Claymores, probably. Haven't seen these since the princess episode. I'm I wouldn't have the kids sitting next to the window. No. Like, you guys got a basement? It's, this is like 101. <laughs> yeah. She'd be proud of you. Do you know where she went? I don't. She went looking for your dad. I haven't heard from her in so long. I just wish she was here. 
She is. I see her in the way you hold your sword. Virgil didn't spend that much time with Michonne. <clears throat> didn't seem like it. Your mom is still with you. Gracie, be careful. Oh! oh. oh. We got a breach! Uh oh! Oh, come on. There's more? Get everyone away from the, the windows. windows! That's all you can... That's a big breach. Yeah, that ain't just a couple. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, the explosions are gonna bring more. What? I'm thinking of the ones we lost. <laughs> really? <laughs> he does not care at all! These are all tribulations, Leo. Black horse of famine rides after us all. I knew this war was coming. Those men have died. They didn't die in vain. They're gonna take him out, dude. I mean, it's all shown that way. Yep. Oh. Oh, he's gonna see him in there? Oh, Daryl found him. Good catch, Daryl. Wow. I knew Daryl was good. Well, I guess they're off by themselves. You wanna smoke? Yeah. <laughs> he's he's gonna go. pitch him over. Oh, yeah. Quit these once. Guess I have to quit him again. Wow. Uh, what a charmer Daryl is. Oh. oh, it's not the way I thought nice. that would go. Did it right up on wow. the platform. <laughs> Don't walk on anything. Yeah. Oh, they got got in the arm and leg. Crap. That's Elijah and Negan. That's How are you? So we'll be ready. Sure. Ready to watch you. What's that? It's how we're going to end this. Oh boy. I'm thinking they got a 50 cal or something. They're just gonna mow them down. Or I'm thinking like a grenade. You remember where you're going? Top floor, second room, southwest corner of the building. Just remember to wipe from a signal. And we get the food. And we go home. I still can't believe this was her plan to go to the Reapers, do all this, get the food, expect to live. She knew this was a suicide yeah. mission for the most part. Well, and how much food are you going to bring back? Like two bags in each arm? I mean, I don't see I'm kind no of frustrated wagons. by that now. What are you doing? Get a chair. What can I do? Close the door behind me. Keep it close. One. You're going to run out and she try to right. draw him away. Rock and roll, I guess. <laughs> all right, Rosita. You couldn't do the back door? Yeah, you could have came around yeah so literally you couldn't go out the back go out in the front and say hey i'm gonna pull a rick here yep i like her uh choice of weaponry though yeah that is pretty nice let's stay away from the windows <laughs> they were listening to bad medicine the whole time <laughs> you know rosita has been hanging in there a lot longer than she did in the comics but with the dream sequence now that she's been having with abraham that's mm -hmm. what i'm wondering oh this be a secret compartment yeah he found something. It had to be some kind of weapon, right? Because there's no way there's yeah. food in there. No. Whoa. That looks like a bunch of Hellfire missiles or something. Who built this? I tried it was a combat engineer. Sorry about Wells. You shouldn't have let him out there by himself. What were you going to do, Leah? Yeah. You should have had his back like he's always had mine. You weren't going to stop Pope, though. Each other. <sighs> At least we used to. Pope says God chose us. You believe on that? But when we had nothing, he gave us something to hold on to. We were all alive because we believed in him. What about now? Doesn't matter whether I believe or not. <laughs> what matters to me? You ever think about what it'd be like if we'd never left that cabin? Yeah. It's hard to watch someone you care about change when they're hurting other people you care about too. I have to tell you something. There's people down there walking with the dead. Daryl! <gasps> no! My people. Oh. oh, he's a coming Food. clean. The Pope took from him. I'll start without it. They're good people. They have families. They don't know what's about to happen to them. Please, you can't let them die like this. I just can't believe she didn't have you an like inkling. Me. Protect my family. Carver told me not to trust you. She's all about her code, not Daryl. I didn't think I could trust you either when I saw who you were with. You could come with me. All you gotta do is clap Pope and everything's done. Just please let me stop him. Please, you gotta help me. It is time. Dude, I don't trust Leah at all. I don't get how she's so bought into this when she was just throwing Pope under the bus. I want you to find that woman for me. Bring it to me, Dixon. Uh, what's the plan here? <laughs> Looking for the keys, sun visor, every time. Well, she can't want to start it. There's no way the gas is still good. Must want to just create a diversion. Wait a minute. So if she takes the vehicle, what if it and starts it up? And it goes through a wall. Don't they want the place? Well, they got to find a way to get the food back, though, too. They ain't going to carry it. 
What are you doing, Maggie? <laughs> I have no idea what What's she's the plan doing here. Well, I guess they don't want this place back. Carver, what the hell's going on down there? The enemy inside the wall. I'm into the courtyard and fire. Sir? Uh huh, you heard me. Take out his own men. Our people are out there. I am aware of that. God will protect them. And what if he doesn't? And it was their time to die. Dude, he's willing to take out his whole team for what? You know, and maybe it's because they didn't have enough time with this series to show just how much control Pope has over him. Oh! Oh, she did it! <laughs> oh, nice, Daryl. Yeah, nice cut. I still don't trust Leah right now. Just because I mean, she did that to Pope, the way she reacted. Oh, here we go, Maggie. Yep, Maggie's big fight. That's Gabe what Gabe saw? was getting. He was, okay, he was getting a rifle. Mm -hmm. Oh, Finish Pope. him. Pope, you are leaking. Oh, just like in the fire. Oh! Oh, he's done now. Yeah, brainstem. <laughs> Come on, they find us. See, she wanted Pulp gone, but not the other guy. Right. Leah's going to go her own way. She want nothing to do Darryl, with anybody. Please open your eyes, Daryl. She does not care about you. Pope is dead. Dixon murdered him. Whoa, what? He's the enemy. She's got to save her own hide. Pope's dead. We're on our way. Daryl, throw a knife. <laughs> Why would you do that? He forgot about what Magna wore. People. My people. Oh. Her and her ego. You do anything. Yep, she you wanted to take you. over. She just didn't like his call. So would I. That's what I said before, man. If if she takes out Pope, they'll follow her and she's gonna pick up the slack. I should have killed him and I had the chance. Go get the gate closed. Then what? Then we're gonna kill everything inside these walls. Unbelievable. There better be no redemption arc for her. I don't think so, man. Wait a minute. So you're just going to let them come into the house? I think that's their plan. They're going to go upstairs and at least throw a sofa or something in front of the steps like they did the first time with Rick and them. Gracie? Where the hell's Gracie? So they do have a basement. Yeah. She's in the basement where they're supposed to be. It's probably flooded, though. Oh. Yep. <laughs> of course. No luck. I wanted to be part of a weapon like you and Rosita have. Staff? Now she has a staff. I mean, they're kids. They're going to make bad decisions, I suppose. Yeah, I totally get that. You know. That made, that made some sense. Oh, you better be uh, good with it. Walker's up top, flooding down there. That's a bad spot to be in. Pull back! Pull back! God, shit. She's going to do it. She's going to fire the missiles. Why? Oh, you thought you knew Leah. You don't know Leah. Run! Yeah. Stop looking! <laughs> you better get out of there. Shit! <laughs> oh, oh that's on! like what you're going to leave me with? For like the next three months? Three is probably like four. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, guys. Fade it out. Fade it out, Dave. Did they not learn the lesson from Negan with the bat and they just gave us the blood on the camera? Did they not learn... Wow, Diamond Dave, Jeez. they did it to us again. So, what did you think of the episode, quick, before we get into our diatribe? Uh, guys, I was so torn with this episode because I loved all the action we saw with the Reapers and our team over there. But I thought all the time they spent in the house was completely worthless and they didn't need any of it. And it was just filler. It, it didn't advance the episode. All it did was reinforce the fact that Rosita's tough and that Virgil had a moment with Judith. That was it. That was the whole point of all this nonsense with the house. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm dis... I'm not happy, but I'm not mad. I'm just kind of uh, like... I don't know what to think, really. I guess because I liked the episode from a story point with Pope getting his and kind of the tension, but now I don't know how to feel about the way it ended with just the cliffhanger with did the missiles get him, did it not, what's going on in the house. I mean, it's going to be like four months, guys. I Give me something here. I, I guess... I guess I don't know how to feel about this episode, if that makes sense. I don't know how you guys feel in the comments. I mean, it was well done, but I don't know how to feel. That whole house scene they did, the whole cheesy 80s horror vibe of zombies reaching in through the walls, <laughs> board up the windows. The only point to that whole scene was for us to see Rosita as a strong fighter, as if we didn't know that we already. We already knew that since season four. I mean, she was with Abraham and Eugene. 
just alone being with Abraham, we know she's a badass. Yeah. We know she's over as a character. So I, I don't know why they thought they had to and reinstitute that for us to know. Because we already know. The only other thing they did was they had a little bit of a moment between Judith and Virgil. Okay? Like, guys, you used like 20 minutes of the end of part one to tell us that I thought the whole house scene was a complete waste and we didn't need any of it. Well, and I just didn't understand the talking of Virgil because Virgil spent, what, two days with Michonne and now he's talking with Judith? Like, I'm besties with your yeah. mom, kid. I, I know her so well. I know her since season three. <laughs> you I know? mean, maybe we're overreacting. I Let us know, but I just don't see how that... That, to me, was a, definitely a waste of time because Virgil doesn't know Michonne that well. No, he doesn't. And like I said, they use that whole scene in the house, but okay, so anyways. Next, we had the whole interaction and relationship with Leah and Daryl, where it was not at all what we were made to think. Leah did not really have any strong feelings for Daryl. In the end, she wanted to be the big dog to take out Pope. She thought Pope was out of his mind with chasing Maggie, wasting resources, wasting men. The whole time we thought she was going to side with Daryl, but it was just her trying to save her people, which I get. But what are you going to do now? There's like four Reapers left. Well, they got all those missiles, but the whole point of this story was they took over Maggie's place. And that was the whole, we got to mark Maggie yep. the whole deal here, which to me, if it was, I thought it was going to be more. So I guess I'm kind of let down about that. Uh, Because I thought they had a great introduction to the Reapers, thinking, oh, wow, this they did something really bad. Yeah, they must have done something. But it was just taking over the place. Yeah, and so to Leah and Pope, what did you think? You were going to take over somebody's home and they were just going to leave and let you have it? (laughs) Yeah. What did you guys think was going to happen? And what does Leah think is going to happen? You know, now that she's taken out Pope, she's lighting off the missiles, we don't know who it's going to... You know, there's, like I said, there's like four or five Reapers left at best. Yeah. What, what's she going to do? The whole Daryl thing, I was really shocked by it. And we all knew it was going to come where he was going to, you know, open up and tell the truth to yeah, Leah. Yeah, he had to eventually. But that was a, <clears throat> that was a huge freaking gamble because I think I've been saying this. She was way more about her code and than anything else. And now we've seen that come to, yep. you know, life here that... She, I don't know. Yeah, she's this all about her family and her code and nothing else matters. But she's going to make the same mistakes Pope made. Oh, for sure. I really hope we don't get a redemption arc out of Leah now. I think we all know what needs to happen. <laughs> I don't even need to go any further than that. But Daryl, ah, it's just a tight, tough situation. It's different than the Maggie Negan situation for sure. Mm-hmm. Where this is just, she blatantly said... I'm picking these people over you, Daryl. Yeah. And you and all your people are going to get taken out now. She knew when she was pointing those missiles down there yep. that Daryl was down there, guys. So she has no problem taking out Daryl. Yep. She made her choice. So real quick, I want to ask all of you, are you satisfied that we still haven't had anything told about Elijah just yet? Like, was he ever part of the Reapers? Was he not? Because the fight style, the mask... All sure do point to that he used to be. I feel like we haven't gotten anything besides that he may have lost, well, he lost his sister. Yep, because of that. Her sister's friend, most likely because of the Reapers. And that's really all we've had on Elijah. Yeah, and again. Well, at this point, we haven't gotten any more. I don't know if we will, but. Well, by the time they tell us, are any of you even going to care about Elijah anymore? I mean, I've. At first, when he came out, it's like, wow, who's the guy with the mask and the cool uh, weapons yeah, or the whatever? Style. And that was cool, but now it's kind of like we've gotten so far away from that. I don't even care anymore. You, you know what they're going to do, guys? Here's what I think they're going to do they're going to do a bottle episode when they come back, and it's going to be just Elijah. And I don't know if any of us are going to care at that point. Well, I probably will, but I feel like it's going to be a little too late. I just want a little something on him. I don't need a bottle episode for. <laughs> Good Lord. You know I really them. hope they did not do a whole bottle episode. There's a time and place for bottle episodes. You just don't need to do it every couple yeah. episodes. No, and clearly last week, the introduction of Sebastian was the cliffhanger for the Commonwealth story. Yep. So again, I feel like with the tornado-like weather that they were having, they could have had more of the Commonwealth in this and really sent this off because they themselves say, 
each eight episodes is its own thing. So to me having, I don't know, I know they're trying to, they they claim this season as part one, two, and three. three yes. But I don't, I'm conflicted on this, on this episode because I guess I was expecting a lot more. Probably my fault. Well, whatever. <clears throat> Diamond Dave, to your point, this was a finale. That's what this was. That's what the they set it up to be. Finale. This was the part one finale. Guys, are you satisfied with this being a part one finale? The way it ended, so many things left wide open. I mean, it was supposed to be its own story, and it's not. I'm sorry. Yeah. So like Macy Quid said, drop your comments down below on this episode. I'm Let's so talk this one out. Did you like it? <laughs> Did you not like it? It is okay on whatever your answer is. We just want to get different perspectives to see yeah. If we're missing anything as well, we will be interacting with you in the comments. Yeah. And folks, you've probably heard me say this plenty of times, but if you're new to the channel and you made it this far, we are on a big aggressive goal for 10,000 subscribers before the end of this year. So if you were somewhat entertained, please consider that awesome little subscribe button. Guys, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the comments because I still don't know how to feel about this episode. Uh, like Diamond Dave said, make sure you uh, drop a comment down below, hit the subscribe button. That's Diamond Dave, I'm Mason Quinn. This was Bad Medicine. We'll see you on Fear. It's, it's we'll a free game. We'll see you on something. <laughs>